great to see you, buddy, and thank you for playing Password. So much fun. I appreciate that. It's been a while since you since you've been on the I show. Know. Yeah, I, I it's missed you. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's we great, always have a good time here. here. Yeah. Well, thank you for. But being you know, up. I've been watching the show. I love the show. And uh, I appreciate actually, that. So tonight, I kind of I haven't been here in a long time, and I just wanted to show you my appreciation because so I brought a gift. You don't have to do that. No, but I thought it's kind of like a gesture. So and because I watched the show. And I love everything you do. I love all the tape segments and the live segments like what you did tonight. So okay. I thought I would just present the show. This is for the show. It's not for you personally. Okay. It's for the production, but it's a check for, you know, 1400 and a little more, $1,433. Wow. So, this is... And so I, if I need to explain maybe just the amount... Um, this is $1,433 You to, yeah. to the Tonight Show, to, the, to the Jimmy Fallon show, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, you can... We can... We can we can we can change that. That's very uh, sweet of you. This is. Why, I just I why thought that, why that amount. I was talking to my business accountant, and he said this is kind of what I can afford right now. And but <laughs> the other. That's great. Well, and I thought when you're expecting nothing, it's kind of like wow. Not, I mean, obviously, it's all relative. You know. No, this is some a, some, some people might donate 14, more. Fourteen thirty-three. But no. The thing is, you're going to get hammered on taxes when you take this, so like it's going to end up being kind of like seven fifty. Yeah. That you net, and that's why I aimed it for this for this figure. This is unbelievable. This is so. This is so thoughtful. I think you might be the first person ever. Uh, well, that's what I thought. Donate you know, money to thought, the Tonight thought, Show. You know, it's a nice thing to do. You can use it for you know, production costs, which is what's written here. For yeah, production. it's for production. This is so sweet Rent of you. Rent some nice costumes or something and do like a funny sketch. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this, but we're going to do something. You can just with frame it. it if you want to put it in your office. But the thing is, this is worth so much more than fourteen hundred thirty-three dollars because if you have like someone like Mark Cuban on the show, which I'm sure you've had. Yeah. You know, Mark Cuban has like two billion dollars, I yeah, believe. Yeah, that's correct. And so, you know, he's like watching. A million dollars is like a thousand dollars, you know, for you and me to mark. I mean, I don't know how much money do you have. <laughs> I mean, but for me, like, you know, that like he has this so is... much, and he'll see this, and he'll see like the, you know, you'll put this on YouTube, and like he'll see the comments. Everyone will be like, "Wow, Michael's this fantastic guy." Yeah. And he'll be well, like, "Well, I want to be a fantastic guy." I want to do it, and he'll bring you Mark Cuban. Who knows what kind of check he'll cut? <laughs> so this is this is smart. That is so smart. So. Well, the last thing to say about it is that it's not, like, actually a check. It's a deposit slip. But that's only because <laughs> I talked to a guy, and he said, don't put it... They'll see your account number on TV. Don't do that. So this is largely symbolic. And, like, I'll Venmo... I'll, you know, we'll figure out, like... Whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. This is a, a symbolic gift. Well, that's what a big... When they do the big checks, it's yeah, not they, a real they, check. Yeah, no, a real it's a symbol. check, is that so it's, symbol. it's similar to a giant just cardboard check. It's just showing love. It's this. Uh, I appreciate that's it. That's how I show love. So if it's not good enough, then whatever. No, no, of course no. Oh, my God, it's nothing but love. Michael, Sarah, what is that amazing? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Look at that. Do you want me to hold it to you? Yeah, you hold it there. Uh, hey, uh, I, I know, uh, I, I just want to say congratulations. The last time I've seen, since I've seen you, you've become a dad. Yes. How's fatherhood? Congratulations. Oh, oh, you're an amazing dad. Yeah. Are you loving it? How, how old is baby? He's 11 months old. Oh, wow. So he's almost one. Yeah, is, is saying words? No, he kind of, like, grasps at making sound. Like, he has said data, but I kind of don't have, like, enough points on the, on the graph yet to know... If he actually knows what he's saying when he says it, or he's just making sounds. Doesn't matter. It counts. But it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> if it sounds like that, I'd just say, yeah, just it's have so it be sweet. data. Yeah. Yeah, and I just, I love him. And, oh, it's You so know, cool. I know he'll be watching this someday and just be so proud of me, how, how well I did tonight and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he will. He'll see the love. It's, it's just, it's, it's symbolic, uh, yeah, you know. I, I love him. How much love I love you, you son. Have. Uh, now, I, I want to talk about this, this movie, because this is for uh, children. Uh, yes. This is Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. Yes. Uh, I love the name. I love uh, Pause of Fury, Legend of Hank. But then I also was doing a little research on this. It's produced by Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Who's uh, one of my uh, best. comedy heroes. Me too. Me too. And, uh, and he does a voice as well. In the, in the, in He's the... so funny in it. Did yeah. you ever, did you meet Mel Brooks? You know, I never met him in relation to this project, but I actually met him, like, years ago, just randomly, when I was, I was working on the Culver City lot. And he has an office there, and I was with my friend. He said, why don't we just go say hi to Mel? And so we went over, and he had us in his office he for, was like, just an there. hour. Yeah, he, and he was, like, happy to have us. The first thing he said to me, he went, hey, thanks for saving Juno. And <laughs> I, I didn't know what he meant. I didn't, I didn't know if he meant sa thanks for saving the movie. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I was the or saving grace. Or thanks for saving the character, which doesn't make any sense. No, but it doesn't matter. I think he was just reaching for anything to say, and he maybe didn't remember the specifics of the movie. I'll take it. And so I said, what do you mean? 
And, yeah. and I shouldn't have said that. I think I've learned since then, like, just say thanks, Mel, and high five, and just be friends, and don't create a weird... Don't question it, yeah. Yeah, just move forward. You must have learned this. Did you, did you move on after that? Did you... Yeah, we, moved, we powered through it. We, yeah, he, he kind of, sh you know, shrugged it off, and we, we, we recovered and had a good time. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of a great memory of Mel Brooks. You go in, you go, you have a weird small talk, and then you leave. And then he signed all these box sets for us. He was like, here, take this, take this. He signed you... Yes, and he actually, he didn't even have his new one on him. He's like, oh, I would love to give you my new one. He didn't have it, and then we were walking out, and he was like running across the parking lot. At Mel us. Brooks. Like, hey, I found it! I found one! I found one! And he Mel Brooks is yeah. running after you? No, he was great. He I was, love this. He's an amazing guy, and you know, meeting him was incredible. He's like a total hero of mine. Uh, do you do you, uh, do you like doing animated uh, films? It's great. It's great. It's actually you know like really hard work. Like you kind of feel physically exhausted a after it more so than you know being on set for like a twelve-hour day even. Really? Because they just kind of well, especially this one when I'm playing a dog. Hank, and um, like from the title, Legend of Hank. Yeah, you so are Hank. I yeah. am Hank. So that's so, it's you speaking into a microphone. <laughs> yeah. And you're exhausted by it. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> but not the whole thing, but like sometimes they say, you know, there's like action sequences in this movie. They go, okay, now we just need you, Michael, we need like a bank of exertion noises or like doggy panting. And you, so you just stand there at the mic for a half hour going like, uh, 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 uh. And you're doing that for a half hour. Okay. And by the end of it, you're like, guys, I, we need to stop. Like, <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna pass out. You're hyperventilating. Yeah, I gave as much as I can give. What yes, more do you want? Yes. What do you want? It ain't for wins. One thousand four hundred thirty-three dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What you, Come on. What do you I'm want? giving you grunts here in pants, yeah, like well, a dog. Like, yeah. Uh, it, it's super cute. It's super fun. It's action-packed. Yeah. Uh, the idea is that Hank wants to be a, a, samurai. a samurai. Yes. It's not very, it's not easy. No. No, so this is, yeah, this is Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. I want to show everyone a clip. Right. Here's Michael Sarah. check it out. What's that? The blindfold is to help you focus. Ah. Uh, now listen, tell me what you hear. I hear you talking and moving. Good. I hear a bird. That's it. I smell flowers, actually. Dogs have a keen sense of smell and excellent hearing. I hear a dragonfly. Smell wood burning. Smell tea brewing. Hey, are you making nachos? Cause someone just cut the cheese. Lesson over. Well done. Yeah, it is well done. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> Michael Sarah, everybody. Uh, I love having you on. Pause and Fury. The Legend of Hank is in theaters now. We'll be right back with Kiki Palmer, everyone. Stick around. Hey, hey.